I'm here at the Quaker Centre in London and I have with me Terry Hobday, a Quaker from Shropshire, who has come to a conference on food. She likes what she's heard because she and her husband ran a small farm and market garden um, for 12 years and also at the same time was teaching. She found that the experience of what children ate affected their health and so these things have linked up and she's come today to hear what she thinks is probably an important aspect of children's diet and also of our own health. So Terry, tell me, what have you learned today? What have you learned today that helps you with um, your own research? Really, I think it's a confirmation of the research I've done, that everything that's been said is really a confirmation of the research results that I found myself while working on it, and that I find it hopeful that farmers themselves are coming together to support each other, to move towards a more sustainable and wholesome and clean way of producing food. Do you find it interesting that actually quite a few of them are Quakers, and this, this is a Quaker conference? I find that not surprising and I'm delighted because I feel that it's something that Quakers should be right at the front, forefront of, of discussing and thinking about and helping people to transition to a new, a new way of uh, producing and, and utilising food. Can you tell us a bit about what you actually discovered about children's health and in relation to food because you eventually came to the conclusion that in fact what they were eating was causing some of their behavioural problems? Yes, I think one of the, the major problems seemed to be uh, in relation to essential fatty acids, particularly the omega-3s, which are plentiful in milk that is um, from cattle that are grazed. Uh, Lot-fed cattle just don't produce enough of it, and it affects the, uh, the memory and concentration uh, span of children. Also, the kind of fat that is produced on livestock fed by... Um, imported feeds including soya and, and uh, GM soya uh, that fat is not really a good healthy fat like the fat from grass-fed cattle is so that was one area but there are others. Thank you Terry and this is Judy Kirby reporting from the Quaker and Business Conference on Food.